This is how I spent $7,000. So there comes a time in every successful reefer's journey when you just gotta upgrade. My anemones were replicating at unsafe speeds and I was putting the rest of the coral at risk. And there really was only one option. Reef Atlantis needed real estate and it needed it fast. Putting together this tank has been both a curse and a blessing. And it's been a curse because every item that I wanna buy for this fish tank is unbelievably expensive and takes my relationship with my wife one step closer to divorce. The blessing, however, is I get to build the ultimate reef tank for myself and my viewers. So first up, we have the beautiful 135G Infinity Series by Mode Aquariums. They're located in Rancho Cucamonga. This tank is 47 and a half inches long, 30 inches wide, and 22 inches tall leaving room for about 20 inches of water. I bought this tank specifically for these dimensions. Usually tanks this long aren't this wide, which made this one extremely unique. For the heart of the tank, I got the Simplicity 3200 DC pump. I use a Simplicity pump in my old tank and it is whisper quiet and extremely powerful. I never had one issue with it. So when I got this tank, I wanted the biggest they made because they work so well and are priced fair. This bad boy pumps out 3,500 gallons per hour, more than enough for the demand of Reef Atlantis. After that, we have the Red Sea Reefer Skimmer 600. I wanted the top of the line skimmer when building this tank setup. I also wanted something that was easy to clean and extremely quiet as my old skimmer was pretty loud. Visually, this skimmer is stunning, extremely quiet and easy to take apart to clean. The built-in neck cleaner, Foam view window and extra long valved waste tube is genius. I chose the 600 because it is able to handle 320 gallons. Next up is the Red Sea Reef Mat 1200. I purchased this reef roller because I absolutely cannot stand filter socks anymore and found that this bad boy gets the job done perfectly without having to do anything as it's all automatic. And it's red, which matches the piping of the tank. And let's be honest, it's Red Sea we're talking about here. I got the 1200 over the 500 because the 500 can only handle 130 gallons versus the 1200 being able to handle 315 gallons. And since my tank is 205 gallons, that made sense. For the brain of the tank, you know I had to get the Neptune System Apex Controller, Neptune System Trident, the DOS dosing system, and two Neptune skies. Whoo, that's a mouthful. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm overusing test kits. Over the last couple years, I've lost thousands in livestock due to mismanaged levels. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, that's your job as a fish tank owner. And you're right. However, reefing is a lot easier when you've got systems in place constantly monitoring your tank. So after tons of research and money spent, I finally have a system that does the dosing for me, monitors my temperatures, pH, and the cleanliness of the water. It has leak sensors and tells me when the heaters aren't working or if anything's out of whack, which will allow me to enjoy Reef Atlantis much more. With this system, I don't have to worry about losing coral or fish to bad parameters, and you can't put a price on something like that. Well... I mean, you can, and that price is $5,000, but who's counting? Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it's been a while since the last time that I posted, but to be honest with you, I was going through some family stuff, I had to move, and three days ago, I just had my first beautiful baby girl named Aria. But the plans for this tank haven't changed at all. And now that I have this new tank here and all these wonderful new gadgets, I'll be able to provide more fun reefing videos soon.